Hi, welcome to a quick walk around video for our Mazda CX-5. We get tons of these every year and they tend to sell more or less immediately. Um, this being the automatic version, I think is even slightly more desirable than the manual. I'm going to take you around and show you everything I can see. A few little points, obviously we're dealing with an 11 year old car, a few little points to make you aware of, but overall a very clean and tidy car with um, one very unusual feature, it's got special order leather, so not even like a factory option, like a special order anthracite leather, which we've not seen on one of these before. Right, I'll take around and show you everything. So it's uh, just, you know, solid white, not metallic or pearlescent, uh, just a regular solid white. Front parking sensors, it's got rear as well, of course. Front fog lights down there. I believe they're just halogen headlights. If they are Xenon, I'll make note of that on the advert. 17-inch uh, alloys, big high-profile tyres, so that protects the wheels from curbing quite well, so they're in good order. Uh, power folding mirrors with the indicators built in. Only this one power folds, the other one does not. And this one, I've noticed when I was just taking the pictures now, this plastic section on the bottom has come off, despite this being the one that actually works. So I'm going to endeavour to find one of those on eBay. They're usually the sort of thing I can find on there. So that should be rectified. All the gaps and colour match is good. Can't spot any poor previous paintwork or anything like that. Privacy gas going through the back. There's the next wheel. A bit of brake dust build up. The valeters could have done a better job on that. I might send that back in. But no marks really to point. Oh, tiny one there, look. Roof's all good. Shark fin aerial up there. High level brake light built into that integrated spoiler. Uh, parking sensors dotted along the back bumper on both the black and the coloured sections, colour coded in. This badge informing you that this is the all wheel drive model, a lot of them are two wheel drive, so that's something to take note of. Uh, no load cover slash parcel shelf. I'm not sure if they come with or not. We've had numerous come without, so I don't know if that's an option or not, but either way, it's not here on this one. Uh, jack and tyre inflation kit just under there and you've got a 12 volt point there as well then these release tethers for the rear seats there wheel three or four Loads of sensors and whatnot up there on the screen, so automatic lights and wipers, I imagine. A few small stone chips on the bonnet here and there. I will go around and touch some of those in. I'd just like you to see everything as is, really. Okay, we'll have a look inside now. Start over at the back. Right, so you've got your manual child locks here. Electric windows, and here's that special order leather. So like a dark grey, as you can see. Not that dark, I suppose, mid grey. So anthracite is the name on the order sheet for it. If you're not using the middle one, it's got this uh, fold down armrest with cup holders. You've got your isofix points there for the outer rear seats. Fantastic leg room. All the original mats are present. And then you've got these magazine holders in the back of the seats too. The other side is obviously much the same, just so you can see everything from all angles and see that it all opens up. Grey headlining. Right, into the front then. Electric windows in the front as well, of course. The genuine mats carry on through here as well. The front ones have logos built in. Front seats all in good order. Airbags built in on the sides. You can turn that airbag off in the front here. We can put your key in there. And then in there is the locking wheel nut. Head round to the driver's side now where we'll finish off. Electric windows, they can be locked from here. Electric mirrors. Like I said, this one's power folding. 
and that one is not doing anything. I'm not going to get involved in power folding wing mirrors. We've wasted far too much money over the years on those, so that is how it will be sold. Not to sound too blunt, but we've, we've wasted hundreds and hundreds of pounds on these things. Um, height adjustment on the driver's seat there. Some light creasing to the bolster overall, holding up really well for the age and miles. The, uh, that's me getting in and out most of that mess, but obviously it does get a little bit more traffic than the others. Your SD card for your sat nav lives in there, and you've got traction control, tyre pressure monitoring, and stop start there. I'm going to jump in to show you the rest. Automatic wipers, automatic lights. I'll tuck that in a bit easier so you can see. 113,028 on the miles. Got this nice leather trimmed multifunction steering wheel, cruise control over this side, audio, phone, and speech over this side. The speech model yeah, module is here and working. Ready. Cancel. Cancel. So that's all doing as it should. Obviously, there's more you can do other than cancel it, but I don't want to go through all that while I've got you here on the video. Single slot CD at the top there audio so you've got fm am bluetooth usb cd and auxiliary you link your phone up on that one and then that one's back to the sat nav there's obviously other settings and whatnot you can do in there as well but that's the main bits uh, dual zone climate control here you can turn your parking sensors off there here's our gearbox so down to drive and then you can do tiptronic like that this is some shortcut buttons for the infotainment Regular handbrake, cup holder, armrest, inside which is this little tray where I've put the keys. Two original Mazda Smart keys. One of them has got a little chip out the end of it. There you are, that one. Should be like that. And inside there is another 12 volt point and your USB and auxiliary inputs. Some airbag logos up there, illuminated vanity mirrors, interior lighting, sunglasses holder, and auto dimming rear view mirror. And that's everything I can spot on this car. If I've missed anything, please do give me a shout and I'll pop out and check for you straight away. I will include as many pictures as possible of the interior, exterior, and paperwork to go with this video. I'm trying to give you the experience of what it would be like to come and visit the car at the site without having to leave home. If you want to keep that going, we can take a small deposit from you over the phone and deliver the vehicle to you. Uh, give us a call and we'll explain how that works in, in greater detail. Obviously, if you want to come out in the traditional sense down to the site, here we are on the border of Fairham and Gosport on the A32 main road site with loads and loads of cars to look at. So if you're browsing, you can just pop that anytime really. The site is accessible 24-7. Uh, however, if there's a vehicle you want to you know, get inside, start the engine, all that sort of stuff, please do phone ahead and make an appointment. We're a small two-man team, or one of, usually one of us here at a time, and even then we can be out and about quite frequently. If you phone ahead, though, we'll obviously guarantee that one of us is here to accommodate you. And that's everything I've got to say, so thank you very much for watching.